Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Void Train. And I have, I, once again, done a little bit of work off camera. I was uh, getting a few things ready. I want to, uh, I'm expecting to tackle on one of those uh, bug arenas today. And I want to make sure I'm prepared for it. I have made some armor plating. I have a whole stack of bandages and I have some ammunition for a slightly modified improved gun. And this is actually starting to do pretty good. I'm getting a fair amount of DPS on this. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a little more stable. It does have a pretty good sight. And I'm sort of able to control recoil a little bit. So I'm hoping that this actually holds up. Uh, first, we got to find one of the, the, the actual nests. Uh, another one thing I've done too is, as you can see, we have another bed. And that is because I decided to pick this guy up. Now, um, what I was had noticed, where did, where did he go? Where is he? Be nice if I could call them right from their bed. Can I? No, I can't. Uh, somewhere around here. They're always disappearing. I don't know if we take off, we'll find them. We'll pick him up, anyways. Or pick up, uh, subscribe here. Alright, so now he, uh, has this, uh, metallurgist who reduces the crafting time for all smelters by 10%. I have a feeling this is a, a global thing. So he doesn't have to actually be at the station for that to actually uh, apply. Same with the, but the experiment, experimentalist. Uh, if he's actually at the lab, he should be reducing the time for it. At least, or reducing the extra. At least that's what I think. Uh, effects too. Uh, there's effects in... Man, wrong button. I meant to hit D. But effects and perks. There he is. Uh, we go to effects and perks. Now, uh, the, the happiness. Apparently, not only does it have to do with the core, but uh, as you can see, it says feed, right? Uh, they will automatically eat one grilled organic if it's in my storage, I believe, when I leave the station or when we arrive. So I have to make sure that I have grilled organics in, in my storage for them, for them to eat and be happy, and that'll af affect their happiness. Uh, building decor by getting unlocking. You guys got weird eyes. I just realized like the inside of their eyeballs is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, uh, feeding the mushrooms gets us decor, which you can add to the train to improve their happiness, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, improving their happiness will... Uh, oh, I gotta do this over here. Actually, I was gonna rename you. I don't know where he went. We'll rename you in a minute here. Uh, yeah, go to the lab. Look, I actually have them both assigned right now. I have the new guy. Uh, yeah, go, go to the labs here. That's not what I want to do. Go to worker info. Now, I have the new guy here at the lab. Now, this is what I was talking about. The metallurgist. This gold one here seems to be like a global thing. So, he will be... He will be reducing the smelting time by 10% of all the smelters. And that should go for each one that has this, that are on the train. And then experimental, experimentalist, that's extra items from uh, recipes. And then the overall happiness actually determines how much he gives me, right? So right now his happiness is only 35%, so he's only... Uh, give me extras on a certain number of recipes. If I get to 65, it gets more. And 100, it says zero. I have no idea what it is. But anyways, more or less, more happier he is, the better chance I have of getting extra things. Now, where is that little bugger? I want to rename him. I have a good name for him. I want to change There he is. Let's pick you up. All right, so we have like, we have subscribe, and this guy we're going to name Share. All right, and we'll see if we can figure out what the next one's going to be. Of course, I'm going to get one more. I have one on this platform here. I have one bed on this platform here. I have one bed on this platform here. And I have to move this chunk of ice. I should be able to squeeze one more in here. We can pick up a fourth. And that's about all I can do. I think I can get one on the... I'm supposed to be able to get one on the main train train here because there's apparently room for it. But I don't think there is. I don't think it's actually allowed to be on here just because of the engine for some reason. But that is fine. Uh, as far as the, the train length goes, I was trying to cheat the system by putting uh, a hand crank on here to add four, and you can only have one engine on a train at a time, so we're kind of stuck with what we have until I get the diesel engine. I believe the diesel engine is going to get unlocked shortly after unlocking, uh, researching the rubber, but I need that acid, which means we got to go hunt down some bugs. Uh, other than that, I believe that was everything. Uh, I wonder if it actually says anything here on the smelter about overall performance, I don't know. But I have been smelting up all the stuff I can, try to get supplies and whatnot. 
And I believe the only thing I need to do is make some throwing rings and then we'll head off. Okay, we are done. And I'm, I didn't actually know you could queue up more than 10 at a time in here. I actually queued up 14, so I have 140 rings. Um, I do got to remember to pick up some organics. Actually, I was going to go trade some organics. Uh, I don't know what I got left for wood. I think we're running low on that. Oh, yeah, that's uh, another one, too. Uh, the plant. The plant, plant, plant. Uh, seeds, yes. So, apparently, with this, if I take these seeds, I can grow two things. One, I can grow... I, I believe this gives me, like, random resources to find these uh, strange seeds, which I, get out of the, which I get out of the chests. But I can also grow organics with these. And the thing I'm going to go ahead and do that, they take three minutes apiece. So, let's just go ahead and queue them all up. And then we can at least have some food on the train for the little guys. And with that, I was going to go pick up some organics quickly, which is over here. And then we roll. Uh, also, too, this is all stuff I'm throwing away. I have a feeling I saw some of this. This was some of the stuff that I dumped off last time. I'm not sure. But, yeah, these things are so common. I'm picking up guns, like, every time now. So I'm not even going to worry about that. Uh, if you didn't know, that actually is a, a temporary storage uh, spot. So you can put your overflow in there for the time being, but as soon as you leave the, d the depot, it gets wiped out. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get some organics. That's about all I really need. Uh, I don't really care about the piston. It's actually pretty cheap, two ounce of chemical. Uh, three scrap for resin. No way. Scrap's too valuable for that. Anyway, uh, let's roll. Get right into the action. I saw an E there. What was that? Oh, that was uh, the hammer, I think. All right. What does the world bring us? The bells again. Interesting. New path number 10. I'm guessing it's counting how many times we've gone through. And this is sort of... Well, I love those jam animations. Sometimes it scares me too. I had, uh, what was it? What was I doing? I think it was in, recording the last episode. Uh, the gun jammed. I'm like, the gun just it sort of did that telekinesis thing where it just sort of floated in front of me and exploded. And I'm like, what that just happened? But anyways, uh, I am going to continue on. Uh, if I find anything interesting, I will let you know. If not, I'll see you later. Well, I gotta admit, this game sure has bells. Well, I'm not sure, but I think we're coming up to it. Not getting any of the, uh, the dramatic music going on, so I have a feeling this is going to be the arena. Yeah, because it's got the platform. So this is... I think I've done one of these before. I don't know if this is the arena or not. I know this is uh, definitely a different type of platform. Uh, I'm gonna go in and hope for the hope for the worst, or brace for the worst and hope for the best. Of course, we never know. It's never gonna go, never gonna go, never gonna go that way. I apologize. All right, just grab a few more things. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab the wood too. All right, uh, inventory check. Eh, could be better, could be worse. Uh, dating's fine. I could use uh, bandage. I uh, probably could eat too, but I'd rather keep the food for these guys. I want to make sure that they actually have some food, right? Uh, I have picked up a little bit. Uh, I did grow the plants too, and it's yielding two organics per seed. So I don't know if it's really worth it, considering how common the stuff is in the void. Um, but I do have a bunch in here. I actually have another stack, so I'm going to go ahead and eat these up myself. And eat those, and I'm going to actually put those on the fire. Oh, I had four more there. Cool. And that way I can actually regen myself. Okay, well, you guys have food. You'll be fine. I don't think I have to have it in there right away. Just clear my inventory. But, uh, yeah, from what I've read, the way this works is I fight waves of bugs, and I can... Fight as many waves as I want. I can quit any time I want, and I, they say it's sort of random how much of this acid that you can get as a reward, and you can get up to a maximum of 16. Let's see how that works. All right, well let's see what we have. Uh, I do have everything. I got bandages, ammo, K9, 
chemicals for no apparent reason and throwing rings which I won't actually need. Perfect. We're set. Well, I honestly wonder how many different variations of like void objects you can get because I have seen swords. I think I've seen chess pieces before. Okay, yeah. I remember these guys. Don't know exactly what they do. I know. Got things to kill. Am I supposed to kill them? That's the question. No, actually, let's go a little bit further. I didn't realize I wasn't on the platform. Yeah, I think the. I gotta go down somewhere to get there. Just pull up the big gun. Oh, I just remembered what these were. Ha ha ha, that's actually how you get into the Z-Bug dimension, or the, the bug arena. Alright, top up the ammo, let's move a little forward here. And you stop automatically, huh? Good ones. Don't touch them. Touch the creature. Well, he told me not to touch it. Oh, actually, this uh, won't let me do it. I have to get out here then. All right. Well, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Don't do this at home, kids. Oh yeah, I actually forgot about that. Yeah, that was uh, hilarious. Yeah, he says he's the keeper of the are arena. I offer you, Wayfarer, a howling, a weeping, a libation. He wants to sacrifice you. No, you can survive. I suppose so. I'm not very good at simultaneous interpretation. We all have our flaws. All right, yeah, they're they're trying. Uh... All right, so I do get a reward if I die. I imagine I lose everything I have on me, but we'll find out. And begin the first trial. Uh... I take that. I guess not. Alright. So what do we get here? Uh, I'm supposed to be getting acid out of this and I have absolutely no idea what, but... Let's give it a shot. I know this is totally different. I think last time it actually dropped you right on a planet. And is this going to be random? Okay. So now I have to survive waves of bugs. Where are they? Can't seem to run for some reason, I don't know why. I'm sorry for not talking, I am trying to concentrate because I'm not very good at this. Where are you, are you? Okay. Wave complete. I did terrible. Alright. What do you got for me? Ah. So this is where I get the acid from. 100% enemy count, enemy damage, enemy health. Ooh. Oh, we gotta go for it. I also have to. 
get more armor on and hoping I have the weapons I have the ammo oh you got ammo oh it jammed on me stupid gun so it happens you build it yourself supposed to be an alternate fire on this. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering why they're exploding, uh, this gun does have traits. Apparently, after every four kills, a body will explode. So it's sort of like you can build perks on your weapons. Huh. I did better than I thought. Good thing I wasn't doing it with the old prospect, which is now called the old punctual. Alright, thank you. I uh, did not get ammo. Alright. Didn't get the rewards for the ammo. Okay. So I can get another chest too. Hmm. Let's take the acid and run. Thank you. Pick up your reward. Haha. -ha. All that for supplies. It's quite the map they've done here. You gotta admit. Get back to the train. How do I get back to the train? Uh. Oh. I go interact with the pigeon. Get friendly with it. Oh, that was cool. I saw the bells off in the background, so it's almost like we're just being transported at a very alarming rate. I tell you, the worlds in this place are something else. No, I'm not. I'm still floating here. But I do want to explore a little bit. If I can. No gravity, so I'm kind of tethered. Alright, new note added. What is this all about? Let's check the journal. If I can remember which key it was. Nothing. It was a note. Oh. Ah, just about the arena. No big deal. Okay. And let's get back on the train and move on. Actually, what we can do is go ahead and research rubber. And I need two resin for that. The resin, I believe, was chemical and wood. And we don't actually have most of it. Nope. Oh. Uh, wood, 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 wood. There's wood. Okay. So, what was I doing? Oh yeah, resin. Make two resin, and we can go ahead and research that and continue on. Um, oh yeah, I was going to mention too, I've got both like and subscribe to both of the labs. So, hopefully we do get some sort of profit out of that. Uh, other than that, I didn't really too, miss too much. I drove through an outpost, I had to repair the RAM first, so that's why it's back to 50%. So, you probably would have known anything if I didn't tell you. And... Uh, Oh yeah, I ran across uh, another derelict train. Wasn't too much there. Some scrap and wood and usual stuff. Oh, that's not what I want. I want to go over here. Take that, we go over here. And we'll research this. And make sure nothing's going to be my way to blow up. Research complete. Okay, I got to check the way because those mines, they show up at any time, so... Yeah, so that explains why I see them cooking food there. I don't think they're eating all the time. They're just it says they eat one piece of food per trip. All right, so boiler upgrade and traction, which doesn't mean anything because we're stuck to number eight of those. What is that? Oh, that's rubber. Yeah, rubber is gonna be made in a lab too. I'm assuming. All right, let's uh, do a situation. Report here. Uh, I've noticed that these things have been getting more and more common. That's not what I want to use. If this thing had a little bit more fire and a bigger clip, I might actually use it more often. Certainly wouldn't be using this in the bug grades. Oh god, no. But uh, yeah, it explains what I saw in the pictures. But uh, anyway, let me carry on. Uh, I'll let you know if we run across or when we run, run across another set of fireflies and on to another puzzle. 
Oh, right, the rubber. Of course, the rubber needs one acid and one resin. So in order to use the rubber, we're going to have to do arenas. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be used for just yet. I imagine it's going to be something probably to do with the diesel engine and producing the diesel fuel and so on and so forth. But anyways, off we go. Okay, well, I haven't found too much else really. I came across uh, another set of fireflies and uh, as another puzzle, and this was talking about about how the uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Come on, just want to break the boards. That's what I want to do. But uh, the symbols were actually inside the house this time. So I don't know what pattern it's going to be in. If it's going to be fish, octopus, octopus, crab. Actually, I guess that's what it would be. Really, no other variations on that one. And that one is down here. Let's see if I can get get to it without wasting all my throwing rings. Okay, I'm gonna watch out for the red guys too, and haven't heard any of them. Well, I should be okay. Famous last words. Tether down to here. And then we go, what was it? Fish. One more. One more there. Fish, fish. Oh, fish octopus. Octopus, and then what was it, crab? Yes, it was. And there we go, another chest. So move that one to the train. Uh, you can take along, uh, take that away. And I'll move on to the other one. Uh, I'm gonna try to record it next time I see it too, but uh, I was on the train, and I think it was share and subscribe they decided to sit down over by the the work the research table in the kitchen and have a little game of pat, patty cake and i thought that was like it was actually really cute unfortunately by the time i went to go record it they were they had already taken off so oh here i might as well use it anyway uh i got another one of these puzzles to deal with uh, and i'll bring it back when this is done Okay, I'm just working on the, the lazy beam puzzle right now, and I was working on this one here, and I'm trying to figure out why it's not reaching up to that one. And then I realized that it's too long, right? Now, I know there's another one over here that's got to be activated with a beam. I'm like, well, how do I get to it? And there's a boulder in the way. And I had to look, and there's actually one of these over there. So now, I go over here and move that one there. Now if we go to the other side, that one should be lit. So now I got a retether under that one. And this should activate it. And there we go. Alright, now let's see if we can get up to this. And give me your treasure. And it's gone. Okay, well, that's everything in this area, so I shall continue on. I'll meet you back either when we find another one of these or when we get to the next depot. If I can actually get my way, my way back there. There we go. We have arrived at the almighty void gate. I didn't really find too much else out of that. It was uh, basically that one little... Uh, Area with two puzzles uh, after that, there was nothing really interesting after that. It was just me going along collecting stuff. Uh, I'll show you what I got when I get inside. I've been, like, I got so much iron and scrap. It's unbelievable. That's why I'm not, like, scrambling for the stuff right now because I got more than what I need right now and I can't actually do much with it until, until we unlock acid or until we find more acid. Uh, I was looking at the. What we need it for, and it looks like I only really need it for the upgrades themselves, or the research. Uh, which means I'm going to need four more acid. So the next arena, I'm either going to have to go... Either try to go until I get four, or... Uh, we do a couple of quick rounds, we'll see. But until then, I have ammo ready. I have armor ready. And I have to deal with the company. When the time comes, because we gotta go open up these chests and see what's inside. 
Okay. I don't actually need to separate now. I don't know if there's going to be story or not. It does say move forward, so maybe. But then at the same time, too, it might be waiting for us to unlock more research. Um, I can't remember. Like, I know there was... This is pretty much where I played before at this point. Shortly after this, we get... It was uh, the artifacts and prophecies and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's still in the game or what's going on. But we shall find out. That was a long entrance. Now, are you going to say anything? Clearly not. Alright, and we do have another Reflimo here, which is good. But anyways, uh, let's go see how well this does. Hopefully I can do a little bit better this time. It's so hard to see because it's so dark around here. These guys aren't very good at hiding. Still early access though, I'm sure the AI is going to get a big overhaul in the future. Ah, wrong button again. See, my theory is if you keep hitting the same button over and over again. Oh, hang on. Okay, well, I hope the, the recording works out because it's uh, kind of getting a little goofy on my end here. It looked like I was missing a few things, and I'm out of ammo. All right, fine. We just got to go with the old prospect here. I might have to do, work on that, get a gun that's more uh, powerful shots. So that way I can aim my shots a little better. I see you hiding there. It's almost like a, it's a grouped AI. AI, AI all moves at the same time in the same spot. I'm still gonna have that shotgun guy to deal with too. That really not hit you guys? There we go. Ah, that's the one that scared me. <laughs> Can't remember what I was shooting, but it was, did that to me. Ah, I keep doing that, damn it. That's those side side buttons on my mouse. Ah, I can see your hitbox, where are you? A YouTuber, uh, another YouTuber I watch, a smaller, small, another small channel said, "Only a fool fight fights a fair fight." I wouldn't say I'm kind of cheesing it, but yeah, you don't have skills, you gotta do something, right? Oh, and that's gonna be a couple of bandages. I should have brought my armor. Should be going for the headshots, but... That's how I do things, I tank it. These guys have a lot of armor. You guys, some each plate I'm knocking off is like multiple plates. Right in the knee. 
Everybody knows that's like a major weak point. If I want, I could run back to the train and craft more ammo. Almost got him. Okay. You gotta love the AI. Just keep poking your head out. Come on. One more. I think sh there's only one shotgun guy. Wow, he lived through that. Definitely seem to be more guys this time around. Alright. A quick one of those. Now where? You're dead. Oh no, you're alive. I believe that's it. Nope. Maybe one more. Where are you? I see. You've been hiding there the whole time? Of course you are. Of course you have, because you're just a headshot away. Was that it? No, it wasn't. Alright, who's left? There we go. Oh, that was something else. Oh, I lived. Alright, let's see if I find any find loot. You got anything? No. Alright, well, I'm gonna go look around, see if I have anything good, and uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to do the grand opening. Ooh, something blue. Okay, I got everything. I didn't really find too much. Uh, I did did pick up this gun because I actually want to ch take this uh, magazine out and see if I can actually use it for something. We'll see if that's even a doable thing. It might be better than the one I have. Okay, there is the chest, and what do we get? We got strange seeds, good. We got another mushroom. What is that? Oh, it's a gun mod. Huh. Interesting. Let's uh sure, let's drop the fat. Uh, do, do. Drop the fat, we don't need that. Uh, drop the ice, got plenty of that. What is that? Oh, this actually might be usable. Alright, grab scrap wood, scrap wood, and I'm out of inventory space, uh, might as well use that, oh, and organics too, eesh, alright, uh, well, let's bring the other chest over and see what we got, see if we unlock some decor today, oh, a little quick on that, there we go, I'm so glad I don't have to carry these things back. Alright, so that's going to be the the, other, the void seeds. And we have another mushroom. Okay, well let me uh, get my stuff together and I'll meet you back at the train and we'll feed our little friends. Okay, so before we do that, let's uh, go in here and see what the old slot machine gives us. Probably the bomb. Oh. What do you give me? Ooh, a grip. Yay. Uh, I don't think I've actually found any benefit to changing the grip yet. I think it might have to do with just me overall handling it. Uh, okay, and let's see what we have for trade today. Uh, forcer, copper, uh, scrap, sterilizer. Not really. I have so much material, so many resources right now. It's I won't say it's funny because uh, yeah, <laughs> it's funny how fast they'll go that's for sure but this is what I've got, I've got a full chest of iron 
I have some more iron in there. And I have more iron smelted. Uh, that chest is full. That chest is full. That chest is full. That chest is full. So we're good on wooden iron, or wooden scrap for now. Uh, I do have some copper already made. I haven't made any brass or steel, but we can make that when time comes. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of copper and zinc as well. But anyways, uh, let's find our little friends here. So who did we feed last time? It was subscribe that got them the mushroom last time. Where is like? Ah, oh, look at them. They're on a union break. Yeah, that's right. Make it look like you're busy. All right. Anyway, uh, pick you up. Let's give you a mushroom. Be nice if he was, wasn't right in your face when he ate it. Train car side. Okay, in the depot. An open cabin. Ooh. That looks interesting. All right. I'll let you go down. And now, let's grab share. I'll give you one. Uh, wagon walls. Oh, hey, we got the walls. Sweet. Get out of here. We got some work to do. Alright, so I believe we create these over here. Uh, let's see here. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, oh. Oh. I guess I can only... I got you. I can only have one of them on at a time. So can I put... Actually, well, I can. Oh, that's nice. What do we do? Car sides or walls? Ooh. Let me make up some bolts and I'll bring you back. And that's what I like about the depot too, is it'll actually use any, anything in your storage inventory, not on your personal inventory, so that's why it says I have 75 ingots. Anyway, okay. And there's also I wanted to check one out, other thing out here too, so uh, this is for these rails here. I'm going to dismantle these ones. Oh, I hit the right button. Okay, and then I want to actually open cabin. Oh... Oh yeah, because it would protect everything, wouldn't it? Interesting, let's have a look at this. I like it. I might actually go with this. Alright, let's see what else we can do with our terrain here. Now, it's good to do this too, because it's actually going to improve uh, uh, the happiness of my my employees right because right now they're all 40 percent happy uh, minus 40 percent happiness because they have no decor and decor just happens to be stuff like what i'm doing to the train right now i don't think it updates here i think it's gonna update at the next station but i think i wonder how i want to do this i like being able to come in and out from the, the sides like do i want to just put the sides or don't put the uh, actual wall. Same cost too. See how that looks. Possible. Uh, let me mess around with this a little bit, see if I can come up with something. Okay, so I decided to go with this. Uh, kind of hard to see right now because it's so dark in the depots here. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the 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 cabin here with the walls around going on the side which really doesn't matter let me run over to the, the next car and i have this section covered i have this section opened up on both or these two sections and i have this one covered and i covered the gathering station as well now i did however find out about the the armor let me get out of here and the armor you actually apply in here once you get the walls up you can go ahead and for instance on this one here I can go ahead and add armor, and I need one steel and one iron bolt. So, I think it'd be a good idea to armor this. So, what I got? Six sections? Alright, let me get six, six steel and another bolt ready. Okay, that should be the last piece of steel I need to armor the whole train. Um, I have made a few changes. Now, what I did, this decided is I would leave this one completely open. So, I've just got the side walls on this, and I only have the canopy on the, the gathering station. So now let's go and check this armor out, and I'm pretty sure even the front walls here get 
I thought I didn't click that. I, even these get uh, armor on them as well. I, or do they? No, they don't. Apparently not. All right, well, anyways, I can armor that up. And then we can go to this car. We can armor that up, armor that up, armor that up. And I'm sure it's going to be expensive to repair this, but... And there we go, a fully armored train. Don't know how well it's going to be armored, but we'll find out. And, of course, it's not going to show me any repair values on it. Of course, maybe it'll show me in here. Not in there. In the machine, not in my book. Hmm. Maybe when it gets damaged, I can repair it through here? I have no idea. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to do quickly? Oh, yes. There is one last thing we gotta do. We gotta make some room for a new friend. Well, let's go ahead and pick this up and... Just throw it in here for now. Not that I actually need the ice. Oh, and now... Now I want to open up my crafting book, because I need one wood and one leather, and I actually have that. Now, can you, please, can you fit in there? No, you cannot. All right, well, i got to pick up that chunk of ice and get rid of that as well. And i got to make sure I stop picking them up and also hit the Create button. Okay. Now, I should have just enough room to squeeze that in there. All right. So now, let's go see what this guy's all about. There he is. It's like Pokemon, man. You gotta collect them all. Alright, I'll place you in there. We hit the button. And hope you don't turn into some mutant that destroys the world. Okay, that just looks creepy. Uh, reduces engine fuel by 10%. Ah, interesting. And reduces workplace, uh, protects the workplace and reduces damage by 30%. You actually might be good for the chain. Uh, good for the, the engine. Uh, let's go finish up that bed real quick here. Okay, so I need wood and leather. Uh, leather, leather, leather. I put leather in this chest. Aha. See, I know what I'm doing here. Uh, for the wood. That was easy to find. It's always in here. And there we go. So let's put that away. And let's run all the way back over here before he disappears. And come on. You're an engineer. I'll invite you to the train. Oh, and you took off before I could pick you up and change your name. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Need a whistle for these little guys. Do a roll call. So now I have to make sure I have four pieces of food for them every time. Uh, let's see if we can find them. There you are. No, that's like. Where did where did he go? Where did he go? Don't subscribe. Do you change color? Oh my god. Please tell me you change color. Alright. And you are going to be renamed... Comment. And of course I have my caps lock on. That's got to be my biggest issue is I always hit caps instead of tab half the time. Okay. So now... Let's apply you... To the locomotive. Alright. And you are there. Now, about the, the smelting perk. I have him on smelt smelting 1. It's not actually affecting smelting 2, so maybe that's not how it works. Maybe it just be only smelter 1s. But anyways, uh, we have finally got ourselves uh, quite the train and quite the crew. And it's too dark to really see anything. Except for this little guy. Oh, wow, he's got like little things going around his eyes and stuff. Special. Or he's just starting a new trend with the new tattoo or something. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.